Mouse is a statistician, studied it in school, drones on and on about ratios and variables, but his tactics more caveman than not. Accept everything cold from the lot. Feynman's way is simpler than that. See, our society has exoticized her race. All she's got to do is post shots and wait, and guys always swipe right her way. Me, different, deeper than that. I can't talk about <laughs> Okay, sit back, relax. Nightclub, six years ago. I can't remember what the live band played, but the vibes are right enough for us to dance slow. Caught in the drift of the crowd, we grind slow. Till the DJ comes, drops the wrong song. The whole crowd turns. Erica. Like everyone is making for the door. Our eyes lock, knock against each other. Don't say a word, don't even bother, just stand stranded in the stream for the door. Before the night's curtains are drawn, she passes me a number. I promise to call and we're gone to the night. The corners of the city, it's thick shadows that hold us still. Next week, Saturday, the sunset is meek, slouched on the horizon, rubbing her cheek, her skin is on fire. Her eyes are lit and we're chatting politics and pure bullshit. So pathetic our world wants peace because conflict is humanity's true battery. Some of our best inventions come from war. The ripple effects are dwindling trust in God, so it's to us to sort our world. And yeah, we still parry, thrust and throw bombs, but if art measures how far we've come, look how we met. Remember that song? Conflict in the bass line, torture in the horns. But when the DJ flipped, we would turn. When the beat dropped, we became one. She leaned in till our lips touched. <laughs> Something like wings grew, fluttering the space between, arms wrapped, buried in that hug. In the chaos of our world, the magnet of the moon is falling down alleys. I felt our hearts beat so rapidly. I thought if we stopped, both of us would die. When we drew apart, the moon had gone and it felt like nothing mattered. The darkness or beyond. It's the next week. Uni's starting soon. Erica's like, come visit me. I try to play a cool and man's expecting some round the corner school, but girls like Cambridge. <laughs> and everything stopped. Tumbleweed silence, static and dust. Two weeks fly by, and that Saturday comes and I'm dressed in a jacket and brown corduroys, trying my best to fit in that world of history boys and grand halls and pims and kings and prime ministers, all them things. And on the train, I'm practicing my posh accent because I don't want to embarrass her in front of her friends. And I got these stock phrases and I'm muttering them as the train hits the station. And she's beautiful, there, poised, picture perfect. Taking my hand, we walk down side streets, cobble past, past lawns to her room. And I'm grateful for its warmth until she says the famous last four words. We need to talk. So I turn, watch the lawns for a while. Fresh grass stretching like arms to the sky, which is grey as if the sun didn't bother. And she's like, I'm deeply in like with you, but just started uni, I gotta grab the opportunity fully. So to save a painful breakup, let's just be friends. When I turned to beg, she sat on her bed in lotus position, eyes down, staring at her palms. A single tear leaves her left cheek and falls, and as it hits, the sun breaks cover, comes streaming through her window. And the room is now bathed in light, this golden, overflowing, life-affirming light. Like the world's telling me it's fine, kind of like. So it's cool, I say, you're right, you're right. But on the train, I'm getting heart palpitations. This numb thing growing, spreading in my chest. Mum's advice is drink water, rest. But come morning, I'm still gripped by this thing. <sighs> I go to the doctor, bruv. That's how deep it was. And the lady, she's prodding me, poking my life. Nothing's wrong with you, you're perfectly fine, but I'm not. Okay, anyone died? Feeling nervous about something? Don't be shy. Well, we just split my girl and I. Doctor starts laughing, chest out, head back, and says, that's what this is. It's a broken heart. I know. You're thinking you asked about the app. Nice story, but what am I talking about? I'm not looking for Erica, that's not what I'm telling you. I think, if I'm honest, I'm trying to break up. I'm too cynical for digital love, but those emotions, that sunny afternoon, gloom of that breakup, light of that room, that's the most emotionally connected I've felt to the world, to our lives, the living, to myself. Damn, all this time I thought I wanted to hit it. 
But when I swipe, looking through pictures, I'm looking for a room with wide windows where the sky is overcast enough to stop light. So when the gold sun cuts the gloom, I feel like I'm alive again. I'm renewed. That's why I'm always on it, if you must know. It takes time, because I swipe slow. <laughs>